Showers and storms moving actually from the east and making their way on westward. Macon seeing some thunderstorms moving on through and hearing the thunder right now as I speak in Atlanta. I don't know if my microphone's picking it up, but you can hear it. Adding down into Tallahassee, we have some rain as well. Florida's been getting inundated with a lot of moisture lately, and now a lot of that action is concentrated in the southern half of the state from around Avon Park on southward to just north of Miami and around Lake Okeechobee. Here around Avon Park, just to the north and west, as we head to around Lakeland, seeing some more action here and some of that already pushing offshore there just south of St. Petersburg. But Broward County really getting blasted with some stronger storms. No doubt some heavy rains here around Fort Lauderdale, extending back to around Collier County. And if you have to travel Alligator Alley there, you are going to run into some pretty good rain coming down at a pretty good pace and uh, potential for some uh, gusty winds as well. Into the northeast I go. Remember this area under a severe thunderstorm watch and of course we'll be watching a couple areas closely just to the north and east of Hartford on I-84 here. Pretty strong thunderstorms. These are actually moving to the south and to the east at about 15 miles per hour and uh, folks around Wyndham County can expect to see a lot of rainfall with these as they continue to push to the south and east and we'll take you out to around the Pittsburgh area around uh, I-76 here and around 376 heading around Pittsburgh. You'll run into some heavier thunderstorms there and the potential for some gusty winds as well. So you want to make sure that you get a firm grip on the steering wheel. If you don't like driving in the heavy rain, just ride it out. These are slow moving though and uh, maybe even pull over to the side of the road if the rain gets a little too heavy for you venture out. Well, we'll check out your forecast for Father's Day as we head on into Sunday morning and we'll still find uh, more of those showers and thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon hours across the south. And this frontal zone will be the uh, focus line for some more storms popping up during the afternoon from around Wausau, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, all the way back down to around Milwaukee, even around Chicago. You may see a few thunderstorms. Weak ridge of high pressure drawing out the northeast and slightly cooler weather here. You may get rid of the 90s, but we'll replace it with some 80s. Along that front uh, for tonight, we'll still see the potential for some good rains locally an inch or more over parts of the deep south. And still a muggy night on tap. If you haven't gotten the fan out yet, well, it'll come in handy. I'll tell you, 60s and 70s again. We're going to hold on to readings like this right on into early next week. Told you about the cooler air starting to make its way southward, heading on into Sunday. And then by Monday, slightly cooler air across parts of the lakes. And then we all see that rebounding back across the western lakes on Tuesday. So 70s and 80s for the extreme northern parts of the lakes, but 90s for the southern lakes all the way into the deep south, and 100s for the desert southwest. We continue on into Thursday of next week, and maybe by Thursday we'll finally pull down some 80s for Cleveland, on into South Bend, Indiana, and Chicago, and Milwaukee. But until then, the 90s are going to be very persistent over the eastern half of the country. Showers and thunderstorms with the frontal system again across the northern lakes on Monday. As we head through time, the wet weather spreads into the northeast, and we'll see more isolated thunderstorms over much of the nation right onto Thursday. Headed to the beach or out to the lake? Check the latest conditions with the Weather Channel. Your boat and beach report coming up.